Hey guys. Hey guys, I've got another video for you. Uh, this one is uber cool. So I um, I did some testing on hyperthreading and turning off individual hyperthreading cores, and I've discovered. Um, well, I didn't discover this. I mean, I did see a few people referring to this in their videos. I know Billzoid referred to this a little bit in his video. And uh, I know Dave Miller uh, referenced this as well on Facebook with an actual application for it. But um, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, the 10th generation Intel CPUs uh, all have hyperthreading enabled and the ability to turn off individual hyperthreading cores. So if you have a Core i9 10900K with 10 cores, 20 threads, you can run it as 10 cores, 16 threads, for example, which is what I did. And I ran Vantage CPU test. And guess what? Holy smokes, the, uh, the boost in performance is amazing. So um, you'll actually get better performance and this will result uh, in world records. Uh, I have no doubt. This is the, I mean, the, difference in CPU test scores is huge. So let me walk you through the BIOS first. Uh, my setup. <coughs> so what I've done is I've, I've got this chip set up at 5.3 gigahertz. Um, right now all cores are enabled. I am uh, I'm running 1.38 volts. Now if you haven't seen my load line testing video, I'm running load line 8 obviously because that's the voltage that I'm expecting to get in the BIOS under load in Windows as well. Uh, DRAM voltage is 175, it's quite high because I am running uh, 4 GHz CAS14. This memory is amazing, I can actually run up to 4800. Uh, I'm not really testing memory so it's not important, I'm actually just testing uh, CPU cores. So I'll just check if I, there's nothing there. Um, I'll just show you what else I have changed. So I've got cache at um, uh, 4.8 gigahertz and I'm also, I'll just show you, I'm running level 8, um, level 8 LLC. I am setting some primary timing, so it's 1414 uh, uh, essentially. And the other thing that I've done is in CPU configuration, this is something that I've actually missed in my uh, original video. I'll just go to that. So power management. I've gone ahead and disabled uh, speed, speed, step, speed, shift, and turbo. Uh, and the other thing that I'm going to play with essentially is here. So um, per core hyperthreading. So right now all enabled. So I'm going to go Windows 5.3 gigahertz. Uh, run uh, the CPU tests and show you the score. So let's do that. So um, all right. So. Uh, 5.3 gigahertz on 10900K, 10 cores, 20 threads. I'm running the ASUS um, Apex board. I am running 4000 CAS14 with 4800 uh, on cache, and I am running the 2060 graphics card. So let's just run this uh, CPU test. Um, in fact, uh, why don't we just run the entire thing? I'll just turn off these uh, feature tests. We don't need them. We can check whether the GTs make any, you know, performance difference when we uh, disable those hyper threading cores. So let's let's do it.
Okay, we've got um, a score, 78K, but this is the important part. The CPU test score is 73,769. So I'm just going to capture this. Back to BIOS, let's turn off some uh, hyperthread cores. Turned off four hard to records. Uh, the reason why I turned off four for Vantage is that the CPU test uh, it doesn't really use more than 16 cores. So if this is a 10 core 20 thread CPU, um, going past 16 threads doesn't uh, help performance. So what we're actually doing now is we're using 10 of the cores and only six of the hyperthreading threads now. So you'll see what I mean. So I'll show that in the uh, CPU Z as well. There you go. So you can see we're using 10 cores and we're using 16 threads instead of uh, 20 that we would normally use. Uh, so same board, same memory, same everything. And let's run this test again. Third time lucky. Right. Oh, no. Da 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 da. Check out this difference. So basically, I went from 83k or something like that, or 81, I forget what it was, to 93k CPU test, and we've also gone over 80,000 uh, uh, overall score because of the uh, the uh, increased subtests. Let me just double check what the. I'll check the screenshot again to compare. So we had, yeah, we had 78k and we went to 80k, and the difference really was we actually even picked up a little bit on the GTs. So our GT2 went to 225. Now you know there could be some variation as well. Sometimes uh, these GTs do vary a little bit under load, but the real, the real deal, the real kicker here is our CPU tests significantly increased and we went from an 83k to 93k so we basically just picked up 10k CPU test score and 2k overall just by turning off four hyper threading cores I mean how crazy is that right so give that a try um, I can imagine maybe 3d micro 6 doing that and 
you know, who knows, maybe you, you might see some performance difference even in some games uh, that, you know, don't potentially scale with too many cores. Uh, and, you know, I know in the past, hyperthreading was actually quite uh, popular to be disabled, but I'm not sure whether that's going to impact games these days. But the fact that you have 10 cores, uh, you could probably comfortably just run HD off if you wanted to as well for the best. Uh, gaming experience anyway. So, peace out.